Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Sean Austin here again from Sean's Rabbit Train Aquaponic Produce. And we're back with another aquaponics video. And what a time it is in the world now when it's so good to be involved in aquaponics. For years, uh, we have been promoting aquaponics as a sustainable form of farming for persons to be involved in and you know it's strange enough but in general I don't know about in other parts of the world but here in Trinidad and Tobago I think we tend to take agriculture very lightly not understanding how important agriculture is to our society as a whole now in light of what's taking place in the world today with the outbreak of this new COVID-19 coronavirus we are seeing a situation where a lot of things are in shortage or are going to be in shortage in the very near future and I mean God forbid that the coronavirus takes hold for any extended period of time in our society but in a case where it should run for a few months there are definitely certain things that are going to be in major shortage throughout the country so in general we've seen it in the past where countries have gone to war and things like that and the bottom line is the country that can feed itself is the country that will survive so I think there isn't a better time in the world for people to start growing their own food apart from all the health factors and knowing where your food comes from and all of that just being able to supply yourself with food is far more important in light of what's going on in the world today so guys we here today we're gonna to talk a bit about aquaponics now we've been showing you all a lot of aspects of the system over the past couple months and there are a lot of people who are still not convinced so let's talk a bit about aquaponics today I don't know about you guys but I definitely love the idea that I don't have any soil to deal with okay in our aquaponics system well in any aquaponics system there's not going to be any soil so that eliminates the work that you usually have with soil based farming with pulling out weeds and mulling up of your plants and things like that none of that you have to do in aquaponics since you don't have any soil obviously you don't have to deal with any soil borne pests in fact there are a lot less in general when you're doing aquaponics uh, the main pest that we have uh butterflies believe it or not yeah because the butterflies they come and let's see yeah they'll come in on the pak choy and they'll lay their eggs on the underside of these nice young leaves here where you usually don't see them until they hatch and then those little larvae start eating the leaves as their food source and they grow quickly so overnight they might devour this entire leaf you know but I mean they're easy enough to deal with we usually just break the leaf off like so and we usually feed them to the fish one of the real real beauties of doing aquaponics is that you never have to water your plants okay so for the busy persons those of you who you know you have a job and you have children and all of that so you have to hustle home when you get home you don't have to worry about watering your plants or before you leave home in the morning as well you don't have to worry about watering your plants because they're always watered okay look, look at this okay so 
each grow bed will have a constant flow of water coming in and uh, a bell siphon here that will drain the beds so you don't ever have to worry about uh, watering your plants uh, there are two cucumbers here that have started to ripe on the vine another one here <laughs> I just left them there to ripen just to see how they turn out. And then of course, we never have to buy any fertilizer for plants. You know, let me just talk about that a bit because I don't believe a lot of people understand really how aquaponics works. Aquaponics is basically, uh, to use a big word, a symbiotic relationship between fishes plants and beneficial bacteria now most times people only talk about the fish and the plants but you can't leave all the bacteria because they are the ones that really create the magic so what happens is that when you feed your fishes and they produce waste uh, most of that waste is in the form of ammonia now the beneficial bacteria they metabolize or they use that ammonia more or less let's say as their food and in that process they break down that ammonia into different compounds along the way like nitrite and then finally into nitrates which as you know is basically plant fertilizer on most fertilizer bags you're gonna see a figure stated as the NPK I believe that's the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium content of that particular fertilizer right so the n in that npk is usually nitrates or nitrogen compounds uh, so that is basically what happens in aquaponics so the fish are actually producing natural fertilizer for your plants and your plants by using those nitrates to grow they are in turn cleaning the water for the fish so it's a beautiful relationship you have between fish the plants and the beneficial bacteria you can't leave them out and since we're talking about fish and plants one of the biggest benefits of doing aquaponics as opposed to any other type of agriculture is that you have two crops in one system okay now if you have a little soil garden outside and you let's say you planted some pak choy and some kale and things like that you'll only be reaping pak choy and kale and crops but in aquaponics apart from the crops we also harvest the fish now if you were so inclined you can have enough fish in your system that you can sell to friends family neighbors things like that or you just have enough fish to feed yourself especially for a person who doesn't eat meat then you can grow your own fish to harvest and feed yourself all right from time to time we will pull a few out of the pond clean them throw them on the grill and we'll have that for dinner or sometimes even lunch you know so again it comes back to my point that i made earlier the persons who can feed themselves are the persons who are going to survive through any situation whether it's a pandemic whatever as long as there's a shortage of something in the country and you can grow it for yourself you have a leg up on everyone else now let me take you down to the back yeah let me show you quickly uh, our raft bed here with our celery I mean already you can see how nice and big these celery are compared to last week when we harvested the entire bed for sale so uh, I'll do a little comparison here for you all and I'll put up a clip from last week I'll put up a clip from last week so you can see the difference look at these guys they're already about 16 inches tall Of course, I can't leave out 
the star of the show the purples look at those lovely fruit there right this one here is fully ripe we're gonna be harvesting him today and eating him at the same time so you all might get to see that okay those there are four more there after that one but these two have already started to ripen uh, so within the week I'm sure we'll be eating those as well uh, I'll try my best to take some pics every day along the way so I can do a quick time lapse for you so you can see how quickly they ripen once they start to but look look at this when we come down here on these smaller trees they've already started to produce fruit let me take you guys up to the other trees here all right look at these guys here we have lots one two three four five and lots more flowers coming on here so we have a lot of fruit already coming on and these trees are just about five feet tall at the moment so look at these look at these lovely guys here oh my yeah let me let me get to the fruit i know you guys are waiting so let me show you all that 